Well, good morning, everybody. It's Monday. Welcome back to the sawmill. We're in Bristol, Virginia right now. Had to run up here to Rural King to get me a diesel tank. I got sick and tired of taking those little five gallon tanks back and forth to the gas station. I've been doing that for years. And since I maintained about four diesel engines at the farm, I figured it might be a good idea to finally break down and get one of those tanks. It's about a hundred and I think 120 gallon tank. So I got it in the truck bed and I got the pump and all the hoses and the filter at home to go on it. So we'll take it back to the mill and get it hooked up. So stick here with me guys. Got a lot going on today. And man, it's a nice day. It is 75 degrees here in November in Tennessee. Fantastic weather. All right, friends, back up here at the mill. We're gonna put that tank right there, either on a pallet or maybe some center blocks. I'm not sure right now which one I'm gonna do. But I need to get these two by fours out of here. I got about 50 or 60 right there. And those are gonna be used to build the barn. That's a bunch of pine and poplar. So let's get those moved out of here. Then we'll have room for the tank. There we go. Let's go get in the tractor and bring up the tank. Man, that went really fast. A lot of people put these on trucks so they've got a like a safe working load of 100 but if it's stationary i think you can do 120 but i think 100 is probably where we'll stay at on this one so i use the center blocks down there i don't want to put a pallet in here to take up too much room center blocks will work just fine i got a pump to put on here of course you feel it right here this is old hat to most of you people probably then right here is where the pump will go i got a hand pump to put on there in a few minutes and uh, before we put any fuel in here, let's put a little treatment in here. This is good for 100 gallons diesel fuel treatment because diesel is bad in the wintertime to go bad on you. So that stuff right there works pretty good. I've used it here for about two years. It always works really well. And if you're interested in this tank, I bought this at Rural King this morning. It was about $350, I believe, out the door. So not too bad. And this is the only one they had. I've been watching their website for about a week at the local rural team. And it's taken a while for them guys to get these in. The guy told me this morning they sell as soon as they hit the door. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Makes you think maybe it's like toilet paper or something this year. As crazy as this year's been. So let's go ahead and treat this fuel and uh, call the fuel truck. See if he's on his way yet. And... Uh, Put my pump on here and try this thing out. I'm excited. Stuff like this make things so much easier here at the sawmill, having fuel ready to go when you need it. All right, friends, as you can see behind me, it's pretty late actually. It's about 8 30. I didn't get a whole lot done today to share with you guys. I got a lot of the sawdust cleaned up up here at the mill. I hauled some slabs over to the kiln, felt some more two by fours to stack up didn't, didn't even turn the sawmill on didn't even do any sawing today unfortunately i was hoping to get a little milling done because uh, tomorrow is tuesday and there's a lot going on tomorrow but i did get back up here after dinner and hook up the tank and here's what we got going on here it works pretty good i did a little test on it and it comes out pretty fast guys i'm real happy with it all right friends everything you're seeing right here took about 20 minutes to install I got this pump on Amazon and the filter, Feel Right, it's the same brand. Uh, this is a longer hose. It comes with a short one. I got a 10 footer. That way I could run the hose from there over to there and pull all the tractors up and keep them filled up. And also when I bring the sawmill back, I can stretch it over to the sawmill as well. Looking forward to that. I hate holding that tank up there. It gets old really fast. So it all comes in a kit. If you want a longer hose, you can buy one, which I did. I'll leave a link down below to all this stuff if you're interested in it. Like I was saying earlier, though, Rural King sells the uh, container, or the tank, rather. I think Amazon's got them also, but shipping will probably eat you up if you go that route. So it's a pretty simple little setup. I got the hand crank one. 
I wasn't sure where I was going to put this when I bought the pump a few months ago, so I went with the hand crank, and it works fine. It comes out really fast. The only problem, not that this is a problem, but after you get done, it does drip out the nozzle just a little, so I got a sawdust five-gallon bucket right there to catch any drips that come down. No big deal right there. That's not a deal breaker by no means. I could really care less about that. I, I'll spill more ATF on the floor than I will a little bit of diesel. So I did a test run. It comes out really fast. I'm pretty happy with it so far and there's no leaks, which is always good because I hate dealing with anything involving something that can leak. I have terrible luck with that stuff. But uh, you can run it without this filter, but Phil Wright recommends doing the filter. It was pretty cheap. And it comes with this little top piece as well. So anything you can do to get that junk out of your fuel, you're probably better off. All right, guys, good morning. It is Tuesday. I'm headed down to Hawkins County, Tennessee, the next county over. Got some cherry logs to look at. I don't know if they're standing or if he's already got them on the ground. Maybe some poplar and some oak. We'll see what he's got down here. I know for sure he's got some cherry. So let's ride down here, take a little field trip, see what he's got. <laughs> 